I was just gonna say, I don't know if you've ever made this mistake, but it would suck to reach for the toilet paper and it's been replaced with a Brillo pad. That's an, that's an intro. Yeah, there it is. Or it's sandpaper. Or cheese grater. Ooh, ah, actually that's just kinky. <gasps> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You need some Corbin or a mandolin, and you could follow us on Instagram, it's Twitter, Twitter. 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 Ah, well, back when I was a kid, we used to sing it like this. That is not gamakas. Gamakas. Um, hey, I didn't tell you to start yet, you nice lady. <laughs> I, do you, I've never heard that word before. I think it's part of rag. I think it's, oh. I think it's like, she's going to be teaching us the basics of, I think, I mean, she'll explain it in the video. I okay. don't know much about it. I'm dumb. Never, never heard the word before, or at but least if I have, I, I think it'll be very interesting. So here we go. We're gonna learn. Gamakas. This is the backbone of Indian classical music. Wow. In fact, it is gamakas that differentiates our music from the rest of the world. Hmm. So let's learn a little more about this. We probably heard concept. about it. Check aboard the What is a gamaka? Probably. A gamaka is basically a connector between two notes. So instead of singing notes in a plain manner, like We add some curves and slides right. to make it sound like Now when we do that, it adds a lot I more life to the Me notes. Too. I just it brings out the essence of the rap. music. So what are the types of gamakas that you can find? This is awesome. Well, Carnatic music recognizes 15 different types of gamakas. <laughs> but today we're going to look at the four most common types that you can easily recognize when one. you listen to a song. I literally just got chills. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> the first type is the sliding gamaka, where you simply slide from one note to another. So instead of singing it plainly like, Sama, we slide between the notes like, Sama. Sama. Or take a descending example. Instead of Sani Pa, we sing Sani Pa. Oh, that's prettier. Now, this slide is called Jaru in Carnatic music. But you can find these slides even very prominently in live music as well. For example, Kannalani. That was a slide. Sometimes an entire line will be full of slides, like I have no idea this had wow, a name. Me too. Did you see how every was syllable style. was sliding to the next? There were no straight notes at all. So you really need to master this art of sliding from one note to another. The second type of gamaka is in the form of a wave or oscillation. So we take a note and keep oscillating back and forth. Let's take Raga Shankara Bharanam for example. Now if we try to sing the notes without any gamakas, it would sound like Now even though we sang the notes of Raga Shankara Bharanam, it did not bring out the essence of the Raga, right? It sounded more like the Western major scale. Absolutely. So in order to bring out the essence, we are going to add some wavy gamakas between the notes. That's way prettier. Only now it sounded like Raga Shankara Bharanam. And this wavy gamaka technique is called Kampitam in Carnatic music. Wow. The third type of gamaka is based on janta swaras or double notes. How do you learn that? So whenever you see the you same study. swara coming twice, like sa sa, Whoa. here. The second swara will always get an extra push or a uh -huh. force from the yeah. uh -huh. So when we sing 
Did you notice how every second swara we gave an extra force from a lower note? And that is a type of gamaka. Take the song for example. Ninnu kori varnam. And finally the last type of gamaka for today, which I call the vibration gamaka, also known as spuritam in Carnatic music. Now spuritam is also based on the concept of janta swaras where the first swara is plain and the second swara gets an extra push. But in case of spuritam, the notes move so fast that it just sounds like a quick vibration. For example, Did you notice those two spuritams mm -hmm. in that line? You will find this very commonly across songs. And you might need some classical training to get it right. Ah, I guess thank Usually, a song will have a combination of all these types of gamakas. Show us. So the next time you listen to your favorite song, try to break down each and every syllable of the song and observe how does one syllable move to the next one. Is it through a sliding gamaka or is it through a wave or a spurita and so on. So on that note, I'm going to leave you to explore the beautiful world of gamakas. For more such videos, download... So, we've been doing classical stuff for at least a year and a half at least mm -hmm. right yeah now i thought i was like okay we've seen a lot mm -hmm. and then she just like shattered my entire world i was like oh that stuff that i just thought was their style is actually part of the <laughs> right like, well, how do you even study for that i just thought it's like an inflection yeah no i i remember when we first started to look at classical music a lot of stupid babies sending messages that were um, mm -hmm. explaining some some of the things and obviously i there's no way i can retain it yeah but the amount of info okay first of all just the amount of information that you would need to learn and then practice it to be able to do it as effortlessly as she can she can do it yeah uh and i'm sure they would feel the same way if they've never been exposed to western music which is very interesting because what my experience has been is that people who come from an eastern background learn Western music, or at least some of it, whereas most Westerners don't, yeah. you know? Well, it's also, it's probably easy to do. Western compared, you know, like what if is you've it? learned what Eastern, you know, it's, it, there's m m many, it seems like much less rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, in, in it's the same notes and you don't have these gamakases in the middle of them. Well, that's the thing. We learned this uh, not too long ago where initially you and I both thought, understandably, if you've not been, in, if you're ignorant, it's more improvised. We, yeah. we thought it was like like jazz, just pure improvisation, and everybody's just going to know how many beats per measure, and we'll see at the other end. There's a lot more rules. There's a lot more rules, and that, we talked about that in one of the last ones where I said it's kind of like the freedom you get from uh, iambic pentameter. I love writing an iambic pentameter because the 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 rules actually release a different kind of creativity for me. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I'm just free writing, that's one thing. But being constrained to 10 beats mm -hmm. per line and only 14 lines, which I break that rule a lot, but at least the having to do the 10 beats per line, it changes the way I think about my phrasing, which is the same thing musically here. But the complexity of vocalization here, ah, uh, Western and European, which is considered the Western foundation, like operatic stuff. I mean, there's a lot they do with power. There's a lot they do with grace notes. There's a lot they do with, you know, vibrato and, and feeling and expression. But this, this is transcendently more complex. Yeah. Just way more complex. Even the instrumentation that we see that comes out of the East is a far more complex mm -hmm. kind of instruments that come out of the East than what we're accustomed to in the West. Absolutely. Oh, that's amazing. That was, that was great. Video. That was so great. Very cool, informative, and just blew our minds that there was just another part of that we were just thought was, I thought it was the singer's style. Right, me too. And the visuals really helped. Yeah. Seeing the letters and where she was going yeah, and the bands. Yeah, it was excellent. Oh man. Man, we're dumb. We are dumb. We are very dumb. But we're uh, learning. We're getting educated. That was great. It, it, she seems like she has a great channel too. So if she has more videos like this that are very informative, uh, please send them our way Beautiful. to the week so we can be less stupid. Yep.